at any time. I'm not too sure. And uh, it's a thing of concern. What do we do? What can we do to increase the attendance? Of course, God does it's not a, a matter of multitude now. But if we all say that we will be having the prayer meeting together, and the only few people are always represented here, I think we need to find out what actually is the problem. Why is it that others are not forthcoming? So I'm throwing it to us now. What do you think could be responsible for this low attendance? Look at for today now, we are only 10 on this platform. Pardon? Okay, somebody is raising voice at 11. Okay. We are, okay. We are two here. Okay, because I'm only seeing 10 here, so. Yes. Okay, he so said we are 11. So now, so we want to see how we can, you know, help the situation, particularly in this direction, because we have to be our brother's keeper. So please, I'm throwing it to the floor now very quickly so that all of us can discuss about it. What can we do to increase or to improve uh, on our attendance? Please, over to you, sir. Our response, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, actually, number is good. When uh, we have a lot of people, it's encouraging. And like the question you ask, what, what do we do? You know, like uh, some of our pastors have equally complain that some people just put their prayer request. They don't even stop by to join the prayer. You know, in the world we live today, it's a funny world where people will pay people to pray for them. People pay people to fast and pray for them. Why they jolly and enjoy themselves they employ the services of others to do the prayers. Uh, it's well. Uh, I think what we need to do, we need to keep talking about it. And you know one or two persons that used to join, there's no more joining. We need to talk to those people. What is the problem? And why are you no longer joining? Then we'll be able to get the feedback from those people. This is the reason why. I'm not joining, that's the reason why I'm not uh, here all the time. If uh, we can talk to those people we know, that we encourage them and that we increase the number. But for those of us that are joining, not to be discouraged. God is not a God of many people, of many number, great number. Just looking for faithful few. That's why I say if two or three, they are come together and pray. He will hear from everyone and he will answer them. So, and I know there have not been any time since we started this prayer that I've seen three people on the prayer network. We've always been more than three. That means in the sight of God, I think we are trying, we are meeting that number. What is important is the faithfulness that we put into it. Those people that as employ us to pray for them, we we'll continue to pray for them. But don't forget that it is he that gives that will receive the more. That person that receives will only enjoy his benefit in the restroom. Why those people that give enjoy the benefit of getting more from the almighty God. So like just what, what I said, we don't have too much time. I think we need to talk to those people we know and also keep faithful in what we are doing and God okay. will do the rest. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. There is something I want to, there's somebody I mentioned the other time. There is this sister, Sister Esther, 
she used to be very, very regular in all these our online prayer meeting. Sister That's Esther true. Igbad or something like that. Yes, but, uh, I remember I noticed that. that of late, she has not been joining. Maybe there could be also be maybe one or two other persons that have been joining and they've not been joining again. We need to know what, maybe if somebody has any information about them, you can help us out so that let's see how we can help such people where necessary. I don't know if there's anybody that has information as regards that. Uh, 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 Matthew. Uh, hallelujah. You know, as a matter of fact, through this platform, you know, God is helping us all. You know, God is, you know, through this platform, God is making us uh, the prayer warrior or the... Uh, God's teaching us how to pray. And we are all benefiting. Okay. But there's an issue. I think, you know, sometimes when you see all those out of hatred, we see those people creeping in with all these abominations. Mm. Uh, it's very discouraging. We see, you see, you see the woman, woman screaming and shouting, you know. I think that's one of, that's the major reason why people are not, you know, they are not coming again. And when this, all this pollution and defilement and corruption, you know, it's very discouraging. So if, if, if we can tackle that, we can, if, we, if there's a way, if we can stop that, I mean, because, you know, the platform is it, it's, it's helping us. Okay. But with all oh, those okay. things. I praise the, okay. okay. All right. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, uh, Pastor Bani, for that uh, observation. Yeah, it is true. It is true that uh, sometimes those things happen. That's why the other time I advised that as Pastor Matthew is making a lot of us co-hosts now, we need to pay attention to the mic of the people. Like I'm talking now, and uh, I'm looking at the mics, and I can see the mic of Pastor Matthew maybe echoing, but it's not echoing here, but it's showing that is uh, there is noise from there when those things come up the co-host will immediately mute those people where that noise is coming from that is the only way we can uh, uh, keep the this thing clean but that's not enough for anybody to say you don't want to come I remember there was a time that uh, scammers came in and started trying to screen to people. Like in fact, uh, today in the church, the sister was, uh, because yesterday in the workers meeting, the group pastor announced that the sister's uh, phone was hacked. In fact, I got a message also on my phone that I should please come for her head. But I never responded to it. I never responded, but today, sister was telling me, just, she sent 50,000 naira yesterday mm. to those hackers, thinking it was sister that truly needed that money. Mm. So these are things that is happening now in the world. A lot of hackers have taken into the world, but mm. what we are advised to do is to put two-step verification on our phone, security on our WhatsApp, so that it will be difficult for anybody to hack it. Once you have that two-step verification, if the person doesn't have it, it cannot break through into your system. So we'll continue to educate ourselves and we'll continue to try our best to make sure we succeed there. And like again, somebody complained that like uh, on Saturday prayer, that was yesterday, the mic was moved throughout. And she was in a quiet place where she expected to a uh, noise would not come from her ends. And she called me and messaged me that look at what is happening. And uh, that is really discouraging as she doesn't know what to do. 
So we just look at the mic. If nurse is coming, we can even private chat the person and said, brother, sister, nurse is coming from your end. Please silence that noise. Because when we pray, we, if we can hear voices, like Pastor Ali used to say, or mute your mic, or mute your mic. I want to hear you pray on Thursdays when it's leading. You understand? So if we can uh, check all those things, I think that will make people happy. Therefore, Sister Esther, yes, Ajira Tutu, for long, we've not seen her. I think I will also personally try to chat her up and find out what the issues are. But if a Pastor Matthew has any information, he should let us know. So we know how to come in and help anyone that is maybe having one challenge or the other, and because of that, it's no longer joining. Uh, we know that the Bible says, iron, sharp, iron. God mm -hmm. will help us. Thank you, sirs. Oh, I see. So, Pastor Matthew, sir. Mm, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, there is something in the Bible that I always uh, take into account, uh, and that's the book of Isaiah. And then when I want to refer to the book of Isaiah today, I don't want to reverse it in the uh, blaming or try to find fault, but try to see the one very thing there's something very very important there that i want us to take note isaiah i've been finding problem during his own time and he's accusing everyone every one of them this did this, 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 this the problem was not stuff until isaiah found himself and then you see that even his own tongue is not clean that's when I say, okay, God, here I am, send me. Uh, that's always the problem. When you don't have a goal in any circumstances, in any situation, in any place you find yourself, the question you need to ask yourself, first of all, is what is my goal on this platform? Am I achieving it? Am I getting to I mean getting to it? The different the talent of each individual is quite different. And then when you see how the pastor the pastor Peter talk, the way Pastor Shegun talks, you will see different in the approaching, the direction two of them comes. And the dream of the two of the of them is that the platform should continue to exist. But the way they approach it, you will see the difference in it. When you look at the, the way Pastor, uh, 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 our brother from Germany, the way he addresses it, yes, it's for the platform to continue to exist. But the way he addresses it is quite different from the way the two of them address it. And that's why in the organization, we have different units. This is the unit of this particular one. This is the unit of this particular one. This is the unit of the particular one. So if that unit is not existing as a joint, that's when you will see the things will be falling apart. But if this one can play its role, that one can play its role, or that one can play its role, then the role will be, the, the platform will continue to grow. Ah, uh, when you look at the your humble person that is talking, my dream, once I'm, I mean forever, which I've been co uh making sure that is is upon is that there's no day as far as we are not going to hold the meeting, the meeting is not old. No matter I remember last Saturday, we think I was feeding, I want to die. And then the dream is there, and I'm pursuing it every day. You look at the number, it is part of the dream that God increases us numerically. 
because uh, you know a lot of my weakness. And then when you look at the way I'm designing the program, you will see that people can easily click and join. To join the platform, mm 